Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another video of fresh cool tweaks that you probably haven't seen yet. So I'm here to show you one by one as I always do in alphabetical order and just for your uh, information we have five of them free and five of them are paid tweaks. So you can see the way my iPhone looks right now looks cool kind of reminds us of uh, Android so for you guys who like this kind of look please pay attention so the first week I want to talk about is Andro bar now Andro bar is one and a half dollars and it gives you this Android looking bar at the, at the uh, bottom of your screen so the the whole thing is very simple and straightforward to use so you have Android bar you can enable it you can long press to collapse so once you long press on the bar it's gonna you know minimize but somehow doesn't work very good for me you can show the media control all the time i don't suggest this i like having haptic feedback whenever i get this button right uh, you can have the bar color if you want i choose adaptive one you can have the theme you can have the de default or Samsung I don't like Samsung so that's it crossfade animation when you go between the uh, different animations you can have it as flat uh, edges big buttons I don't know it's gonna um, I don't like this option because it's gonna bring everything up a little bit you can have uh, your dog background hidden you can disable those system swipe gestures and you can only work with Android bar and you can also blacklist some apps that you don't want this bar to work in so when I press on it it gives you nice feedback and you see it just goes black so this is the adaptive color or, or once you go to this side let me see I don't think I don't have anything in the background uh, that I used previously actually I do but you see it's not working properly let me see okay so I can go back to my previous app you can see here on this square I can enable the uh, multi uh, multi switch or the background switcher as you can see my app switcher so that's pretty much it that's pretty much it about Android bar. So Android bar just gives us this nice option at the bottom. So the next week is a free one recently, recently uh, published on Cydia, recently released. It's called Arizona and it's from the tweaked repo. And the only thing the tweak does is moves your uh, time and date to the right or to the left. So when you go into the settings, that's basically it. You can enable it. You can put it in the left, center or right. You can customize the position if you want something more specific to do. And, and that's basically it. This is Arizona tweak. The next one is Carrierizer 2 and you've probably seen it before. It's updated for iOS 14 and it gives you this little customization in the top left corner which is basically putting any text you prefer uh, instead of your uh, operator text there. So Carrierizer 2, this is what it gives you. You can have custom carrier text. This is the only thing I have enabled. Or you can uh, change the service text, no SIM text for example. You can put something, what you, whatever you want. You can hide the carrier bar hide seller icon fake no service if you need this fake dual sim if you need this so it's gonna you know pop right there show time on lock screen for example show IP addresses carrier current temperature current conditions or the location so this is what carrier carrierizer 2 does uh, it's a free tweak from Big Boss repo in one of my previous videos I have shown the uh, drain tweak which is more an, of an app I don't know I'm not really sure so the drain one is here and it will give you this once you install it it will give you this menu and give you, give you this app so you can track which tweak might be uh, using a lot of your battery so the first screen shows you what is the current discharge uh, from your device uh, how many cycles did you charge your phone? Uh, what is time left a bit be uh, before your battery completely dies? The health of your battery, battery uh, temperature, the voltage, free RAM. Here what is actually what's important is that here it shows you the uh, average battery drain throughout the day and also here it would if you have any tweak that uses a lot of your battery you would you would see it you would see it here in the settings you can you know uh, customize stuff that you want daily report you can export the data you can have it as all in mode 
you can change the app icon you can have the formats in this way fahrenheit or or whatever less less important thing so this is the first uh, screen that's that's important and the second screen which is the most important so you can check out if any of your tweaks uh, cause battery drain Another well-known tweak uh, is Gesto. I've recently installed it because it's been updated for iOS 14. And this is Gesto 13 slash 14. It's $4. You can get it from the Dynastic repo. And it uh, customizes how you access your control center or how your uh, app switcher looks like. So when we go to the app switcher, as you can see here, this is, you can set it up in Gesto. So this is how the app switcher looks like, like the iPad, you can change this. But when you swipe to the left, you get these options on the, on the right hand side, if you can see. So when I swipe and I uh, lift up my finger, I can pause the music, I can unlock all, I can invoke the control center, I can close all apps or I can respring my device so you can see I can invoke it like like this so this is pretty neat feature of Gesto Gesto uh, you can also change the looks of it you can have this menu appearing from the top I've chose on the side uh, you can have the haptic feedback or prioritize app switcher instead of those those uh, switcher options you can have the default switcher grid switcher or linear switcher if you want you can also uh, adjust some things if you want here and you have the quick actions which are those which are those options on the side these uh, five five menus here on the side you can you can customize them customize them in this option which says quick actions so you can manage which quick actions you want to have uh, you can set the delay haptic feedback you can hide the labels if you want or you can customize the background so this is gesto so the next week is called Grady. I think it's it's a red Grady or Grady. I'm not sure. I suppose Grady. And I want to big, give big shout out to Ginsu Dev, the developer, who was very kind to share this tweak with me. So the only tweak, the thing that the tweak does, you have the options to just enable it or disable it. So the Grady tweak brings the interface of Google Music or Google YouTube Music from Android to your iPhone. And I have to say, it looks amazing. So when you play a song, any song, oh, it's already playing, good. So when I lock my device, you can see the interface here and it's pretty pretty cool i really love it when you switch between the songs you will see that there is a nice thing here going on like like uh, uh, music art that you can you can see on the right hand side uh, right so you can see the color also changes when the uh, art color changes uh, then you can I mean it's it just keeps going as you can see so it takes some time to them so I pretty much love this look to be honest it's very compact very 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 elegant uh, don't get me wrong I'm not an Android kind of guy but these things you know you can see when you mix and match a few features from Android and iOS you can really get something something very interesting so this is this is the Grady tweak and it's a paid one it's a one and a half dollars so if you want to grab that one I highly recommend it probably by now you've seen this the way my my first uh, page on the home screen looks like so this is thanks to the latest tweak which is still in beta it's starfish it's two and a half dollars and it gives a nice nice uh, interface where you can see your time you can see the current temperature again this somehow reminds of android right but again i'm telling you it's cool i'm, I'm not android kind of guy but this mix and match really really works for me so you can see the now uh, playing song and you can see your favorite apps however i do not recommend that you put here any any of the widgets like these widgets because uh, it gets a little bit mixed mixed up and it's not aligned uh, and probably because it's still in beta so this is just to warn you however if you don't want to see this you can you can have your you can have your screen looking like this right and you can just uh, you know pull down or pull up not to see this right so you can have it like like this there are no settings for the tweak currently so this is the only thing you get and I have to admit it looks pretty pretty neat 
So the next week is very useful in these COVID-19 times uh, and it's called Straight to Passcode. So this is a free tweak and it does what its name suggests. And there are no settings for the tweak. You can just see the uh, uh, description in Cydia uh, where it disables face ID scan view when sliding up on lock screen to go straight to passcode. So if you have a mask, so for example now if I want to lock my device I'm going to cover my face with my, I don't know, with, with, with a cloth so that it doesn't recognize you will see now I'm gonna show you when I want to okay I'm, I'm trying to you see it immediately gives me the passcode so there is no unnecessary scanning of my face it sees that I don't have uh, it doesn't recognize my face so it immediately goes to my goes to my passcode so this is very neat feature and very very cool tweak the next week is a free one without settings in your settings panel and it's called timestamp. So the timestamp tweak just, you know, changes the time and the date here from time to time. And I think it should be every 10 seconds. So every few seconds, 10, 15 seconds, you see it changes to date and then it comes back comes back to time. So this is the only tweak, uh, only thing that this tweak does. So if you kind of like this, you know, to, you know, uh, simultaneously or, you know, uh, show one after the other, the time and the date, you know, go ahead and try this tweak. It's a very small tweak, timestamp. The last tweak, but not the least, is an old school, very famous tweak, Velox Reloaded. And this is Velox Reloaded too. It's a paid tweak and it costs $2.99. So the tweak actually integrates itself with the widget options that came with iOS 14. So as you can see, I have a different widget added here, which is which is from the um, Velox uh, from the Velox tweak. So when we go to settings, you, we just have the preferences that we can look into. Enable beta sizing, I'm not touching this because it says work in progress, it might mess your device. You can hide the widget labels if you want, or you can put you know, 12 hour time instead of 24 hour time. Not too many things to change. However, when we long press and you get this option when your icons wiggle, you tap on plus. And this is, these are widgets from Velox. Okay, so you have Velox widgets here. You can have the Cydia widget, now playing widget, digital clock, uh, or, or, or these things. Once you swipe to the left, you will see the, your, your uh, regular normal, normal widgets, you know. Once you swipe back, this is the widgets from Velox. So this is pretty neat uh, option to have like, uh, like, I don't know, more options to show. Let's see what is Velox Cydia widget. All right, so you can see the, some of these, I don't know, uh, packages that have been updated, that are most recent in the, uh, in the Cydia, if you like. And that's, that's it. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching my, my, my new video. I really hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, you know, give it a thumbs up, share it, you know, make me famous, whatever. I really appreciate it. So thank you, guys, and see you in one of the next videos.